My name is Sen Takekuma. I'm a 24 year old salesman working for a major company. Okay, quotation sent. It took a while, but I think I can manage to go visit two clients this afternoon. My work is smooth sailing. I have a girlfriend whom I have been dating since high school. It's good life. But then, there was a sudden turn of events. Heh, <laughs> you incompetence! Why can't you do what I want? Don't put the blame on me. You're the ones who should take responsibility, since you're below me. The president's daughter married a guy, and he became a board member. And a lot of employees started resigning. Moreover, he offended a number of major clients, and my company quickly went downhill and went bankrupt. But my misfortune didn't end here. I was dating you only because you work for a major company. But I can't go out with a jobless person. Let's break up. At the same time as the bankruptcy, my girlfriend, Miyako Hanazumi, dumped me. And there he was beside her. You're gonna work for a small company now? Poor you, Sen. It was Kuma Tanaichi, a man I thought was my best friend from the same university. The company went bankrupt, and my girlfriend was taken by Kuma. Huh. Oh, <laughs> Tanichi kun, huh? I've heard rumors that he's a playboy, but he took your girlfriend, huh? Her name is Mika Kashimada. She's also a classmate of mine from the same college. When I was depressed, I happened to run into her in town, and she dragged me into an izakaya. Well, now I see why you looked so depressed. But what are you going to do now? I don't know. I haven't thought about anything. I'll have to look for a new job. Hmm, then why don't you think about becoming a freelancer? My brother does it too, but he makes quite a bit of money, you know? Freelancer, huh? That suggestion might have been life changing for me. A week later, I started studying about entrepreneurship. I've learned firsthand that even the big companies aren't safe in this day and age. No company can protect its employees. Then, you're on your own. The question is, what am I gonna do? It's been a month since I lost my job. I decided to rent a new office. It's not far from the station, and I can eat downstairs. I'm lucky that this place just happened to have one slot available. And they have an admin agency on the third floor. Maybe I'll ask your service too if I get busy. Well, what I started doing is. I'm now taking care of manufacturing maintenance of control panels for factories. Oh, that's great! I was wondering what to do when I heard about that company's sudden bankruptcy. My former company's business was building automation, or BAS. In short, we sell centralized management systems for everything from AC to electricity for buildings, with each system costing several hundred million yens. But it's difficult to sell on that scale, so I act as an agent for major manufacturers. We have old system, and when I switch it on, the power goes out for a moment. Is it a malfunction? Maybe noise runs through when you turn it on, so. Taking in customers who lost their supplier. That's what I do now. By the way, when I say I'm an agent, I'm not an exclusive distributor contracted by the manufacturer. I'm a self declared agent, so I don't have any strict obligations. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. But I still have to call the manufacturer for the repairs. When I return to the office. You look tired. Being busy is good. Suddenly, the woman in the next booth spoke to me. Her name is Shizuku Hakoishi. She's the woman who rents the space next to mine. Unlike a sole proprietor like me, she seems to be the president of some company that she took over from her father who passed away. Hello. You're here again today? What about your company? It's okay. I can work more efficiently here, and the company can manage without me. Anyway, after you get your work done, why don't we grab dinner downstairs again? There's nothing worse than an incompetent worker. And so, we got our work done and went downstairs to the family restaurant. We have a late dinner and a light drink. We occasionally meet up here to complain about our work. With the price they set, there's no profit. Why would they give out discounts at their own discretion? There are a lot of complaints from Shizuku today. It seems that there's an employee in the sales department who doesn't listen to her. By the time two months have passed since then, I've been getting calls from clients I've visited. Something wrong with the communication equipment in the panel? 
It could be a disconnection. Are you in the neighborhood? Then would you mind if I visit your factory tomorrow and take a look at it? Repairing a control panel costs several tens of thousands of yen. For a new production, it's hundreds of thousands. Taking the margin from the manufacturer, I would only be able to barely get by like this. I wonder if there's anything more I can do. Hmm, then why don't you sell peripheral devices of control panels? I had dinner with Shizuku again today and discussed it with her, and that was the suggestion I got. Oh, I see. There are extension cables, touch panels, and so on. You shouldn't underestimate the demand for incidental purchases. People buy many things together with a main product just to avoid hassle. I don't think the demand is so small. What do you think? I see. And that suggestion turned out to be right on the money. I see. But I don't know what kind of cable or touch panel to choose. I would appreciate it if you could make a selection and sell it to me. When it comes to electrical matters, there are many people who have no knowledge. So now, I have more clients who buy many items at once. Thank you very much. I'll send you a quote later. And I finally got too busy to do the paperwork myself. So I hired an admin agency on the third floor to do it for me. I'd like you to handle vouchers and invoices. Sure, it's my pleasure. Thank you for signing the contract. Wow, you have quite a few clients. I'm glad to see your business is going well. <laughs> Thank you. When I finished my business and was about to return to my office... Ah, Tomoyura-san! She goes to the man and crosses her arms with his in a friendly manner. They look happy. Rumor has it that the sisters were fighting over the guy, but the little sister gave in. That's something to envy. I have no regrets for Miyako, but... There was a time like that for me too, wasn't there? Reunion? I ran into Mika again in town and went into Izakaya, and she told me about it. Yeah, for the college. It's been three years since we graduated. To be honest, there were only a few people I could reach, but what do you say? Hmm, I guess I'll go. Some days later, for some reason, Shizuku asked me to hear her story, so I went to see her. The office was quiet. I thought it was scary and eerie. Mrs. President. I was so surprised when he called out to me. He was there grinning at me. I don't know what it was, but I was scared, instinctively. But I couldn't run away. What is it? I asked him. Then he pulled out a piece of paper. It had some strange numbers on it. Please take a look at it, he said. And there was a purchase order from a major client with zero profit. When I think of the expenses, it's actually a loss. Shizuku comes closer to me with a sad look. It seems that's what happened first thing in the morning. So, so close! Um, why did he come directly to you, the president? The department manager gave up on him and told him to come to me directly. Huh? Well, if he's that bad, can't you just fire him or something? It's difficult in this day and age, especially that type of person who will sue you if you fire him. I see. If it develops into a labor management problem, there's a high possibility that the company will incur more losses. I did warn him though. By the way, you're looking awfully casual today. Yeah, today. I was in the office just to do some admin stuff because I had the reunion in the evening. It's been a long time, everyone. We're reserving the restaurant for the whole night, so everyone who will be late is welcome to join us, too. We'll charge you a membership fee, though. <laughs> You're so calculative, huh? You didn't plan this reunion for the sake of sales, did you? Everyone enters the restaurant laughing and reminiscing and discussing recent events. And one after another, the alumni arrive late after finishing their work. Among them, there was that guy. Hey, it looks like you guys are doing well. Koma Taneichi. And, somehow, next to him was my ex, Miyako Hanazumi. I don't care about Koma, but why Miyako too? She didn't go to her college, did she? Oh shoot, who called such a guy here? He's the enemy of women. I don't like that guy. I mean, who is that woman next to him anyway? The women behind me are whispering to each other. Back then, I thought we were best friends. But now, I understand exactly how they feel. Well, I've got a big case to handle today. 
Oh, Sen is there too? Hey, how's it going? How are you doing after being fired from a major company? I wasn't fired. The company went bankrupt. Well, I'm doing well on my own. I responded calmly to the irritating remark. Maybe I shouldn't have said on my own. Oh, I was wondering what kind of a small company you will be going into. But you are an unstable freelancer now? That's funny. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, why did you bring Miyako here? It's the unveiling of my fiancé. We are getting married. <laughs> she says I'm an elite and attractive. We, the two elites, are getting married to each other. We are from top rank universities. So we are perfect for each other, right? I sighed that he just came here to satisfy his self-esteem. But Miyako is... Uh, well, whatever. Well, congratulations on that. Sin, for the love of my best friend, I'll invite you to the wedding! <laughs> a best friend? Oh, that sounds like a nasty reunion. Arrogant guys like that are everywhere. He used to be a better guy, but... The next day, I was telling Shizuku about yesterday's reunion. When I remember about it, I get frustrated. So, you're still going to attend the wedding? Well, even though they're bastards, they're my ex-best friend and ex-girlfriend. So I'm gonna see them one last time and say goodbye. I see. You can control your emotions well, huh? You're so mature, I'd love to have you in my team. Saying that, she stares at me. But it's not good to hold back too much, you know? You have to vent it out, okay? That's what I'm doing now, right? I appreciate you listening to me. Likewise. Hey, I have a suggestion. Business is going well, and what was even more of a turning point for me was when I visited this customer. Please do me a favor. I trust you and that's why I'm asking you for a favor. But that project is too big for me. And even if I could, I can only be an intermediary, you know? It's okay. Please do it for us. Your previous company went bankrupt, and I asked another firm to handle the project, but they were really bad. Because of that, the project is on hold right now. If I get a strange contractor again, I'll lose my credibility. Uh, uh, let me think about it for a bit. A few days later, I decided to take the project. Oh, thank you very much. That's reassuring. I'm not an installer, but only an intermediary. In short, I'm in a position to supervise everything until installation is complete. The scale of this project is big, and so is the amount of money involved. The amount of money I have to pay first to the contractor is also huge. It's difficult for my small business to handle that, but it was Shizuku who encouraged me to do it. Do it. The plan is concrete, so I'm sure the bank will give you a loan. You have been a trustworthy customer for a long time, haven't you? If that end up being difficult, I'll give you a loan. You should take the job with confidence. You want to give it a shot, don't you? You have that kind of look on your face. That made me decide to take the job. In the middle of such a busy time, I received a wedding invitation from Koma and Miyako and attended the wedding. <laughs> Bless us! Today, on this day, an elite couple is born! Yeah, yeah. I looked at the number of attendees. Not many people other than family members were here. It was obvious, but they really don't have many friends, do they? Well, this is the last day I get involved with them too. Well, a year has passed since that hectic times. They wanted you to sell only communication and power cables. Can you give them a quote? Well, did you ask how wide the cables are supposed to be? He said 10 meters. Okay, each lot is 100 meters though. Well, I'll do something about it. The project a year ago brought me substantial profit and trust, so I expanded my business. I now rent a proper office and started hiring employees, but... <laughs> now you get it, huh? You want a place where you can work alone, right? I still rent a small office and sometimes work here. Oh, and next week we have to go to your parents' house, right? 
I'll have to adjust my work schedule. And so, I'm back at my parents' house on a weekend for the first time in a long time. It's still the same as ever. I was deeply moved to come to this area after so long, and I decided to take a walk. It was then that she approached me. Sen? Are you Sen Takekoma? Miyako? There she was, Miyako. Her belly's getting bigger. Is she pregnant? I never thought I'd meet you. As you can see, I'm pregnant and back at my parents' house. You are a freelancer. At the bottom of the pyramid, aren't you? How can you be slacking off here? Oh, sorry. A phone call. I received a call from my client. This is Takikoma. Thank you for your business. Okay. Another BAS? I appreciate your trust in me. Okay. I'll take care of it. I hung up the call. The client heard about me from another client, apparently. B-A-S? Wait, that's building automation, right? Isn't that a multi-million deal? What the heck? How can a freelancer get a deal that big? Miyako suddenly shouts at me. What the heck is with this person? It's thanks to the trust I gained in my previous company. Thanks to that, I now have an office and employees. Then, I'll break up with Koma. Can we get back together? Um, what? What in the world is she saying? She's married and have a baby in her belly. And now, she's saying she wants to get back with me? Honestly, you know, I quit my job after I got married and had a baby, but Koma's salary hasn't changed at all, and life is hard. Hey, please? We were dating once, right? I mean, or you can just help me a bit financially. What the heck? I'm more dismayed than angry. I'm sick. Just so sick of the woman in front of me. You know what? I... Just as I was about to say my next words. Hey, Sen. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Just in time, I introduce her to the bitch. She's Shizuku Hakoishi. She's my fiance, and she came to my parents' house tonight to say hello. What? Shizuku was called to the office for an urgent matter, so I was waiting for her. So, who is this person? Um, my ex-girlfriend. Oh, really? Nice to meet you. I'm Shizuku Hakoishi. Wow, you're pregnant. Congratulations. Shizuku gave an innocent smile to Miyako, who had an evil expression until now, and... Uh, uh, Suddenly, she started running away. Um, a pregnant woman shouldn't be doing that. Uh, what's wrong with her? Isn't it dangerous if she suddenly starts running? Uh, <laughs> she probably felt so bad about herself seeing your innocent smile. It seems her own words and actions made herself feel like an evil person. Then I introduced Shizuku to my parents. My name is Shizuku Hakoishi. Nice to meet you. I have come to visit you to tell you that I am engaged to him. On this day, we were one step closer to marriage. On the other hand, Miyako, who ran away from us. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I bought some good sake on the way back. Let's drink it together. Hello? How can I possibly drink? I'm pregnant. Are you doing that on purpose or something? And stop wasting your money. You don't get paid much. And yet, you're acting like an elite? What an idiot. <laughs> Screw you. You were the one calling yourself an elite when you were not. You didn't even graduate from a good university. And your job was just a receptionist at a small company. I was fooled. You just wanted to be a parasite for an educated elite like me. Huh? I wish you could be as successful as Sen. I'm the one who was fooled. A big ugly fight had broken out without my knowledge. But more hardship continues for these two. Wait, wait, fired? Well, why would I, a highly educated elite, be fired? Giving discounts and signing contracts without permission. Always violating orders and no matter how many times I warned you, you never stopped. 
We have given you so many chances, but you have not improved and have only caused harm to the company. Therefore, we have determined that it is appropriate to dismiss you in accordance with the employment regulations. On that day, Koma Taneichi was fired from the company. Finally, I was able to fire that useless guy. What a long battle it was. She sighs at her usual family restaurant after work. I was called to listen to her complaints. Good job. There are some crazy people in this world, huh? I know, right? I've learned that an incompetent worker who boasts that they're a well-educated elite is the most troublesome. Whoa! I never thought someone like Koma exists other than him! Neither Shizuku nor I had any idea that the person we were talking about was someone we both knew. By the way, where shall we have our wedding? What are we going to do with each other's company after we get married? Why don't we take our time to decide? There's no need to rush. What? But we're both busy and we have a lot of decisions to make, don't we? But to think that I would meet someone like her after being dumped by Miyako. I suddenly thought about that. And this is after story. I got rejected again. How many companies has this been? Why don't you try smaller companies? Just get a job, you useless little crap. Shut up! I'm an educated elite! I can't work for anything but a big company! Miyako and Koma are now living in poverty in a cheap apartment. Me and Shizuku got married. The wedding ceremony was blessed by everyone. And my company became a subsidiary of Shizuku's company. I'll have to discuss and decide with my wife what to do from now on. While many things are changing, some things have remained the same. After all, it's more relaxing to work here. Isn't it? We're still working together in the small office. I think about it from time to time. If I hadn't decided to start my own business, I would have never met Shizuku. Fate has a way of working things out, doesn't it? Unconsciously, I was just saying that out loud. <laughs>